Hi everyone, thank you for turning this analysis. My name is Jacob from Finate and I will tell you my thoughts behind the SPI and what I expect from this market now. I am really happy that the market did a big short yesterday because uh, we have opened, I guess, almost 50 trades, short trades in the different markets uh, in a few days. And uh, I was afraid because uh, confidence uh, in the SPI market was uh, totally crazy. And uh, you look, uh, June uh, 5th market opened with a gap. So I was really afraid. And, oh my God, it's really big confidence. So what's happening in this market? And I'm really happy this market collapsed uh, yesterday with a gap and continued to the downside. It means that we might see some fear and as we know, if there is a fear in the market, uh, we see in most of the cases that the market go lower and very fast because fear, if you have a fear, you do terrible things, you think uh, the worst case scenarios and something like that. So I think that we will probably continue to the downside. But what's the problem here on the way down is the value area uh, and then that is uh, around price 290 and uh, 260. Uh, I'm really afraid of this level because uh, as you can see, market spent, uh, well, let's say one and a half year there and there is the point of control near 280. So I think that the pro first problem for the market to go down will be around 295 okay let's say here in this low volume note because this is the edge of the value area and it means that we will have to see very big fear to go or enter the value area so this is the first point of defense here and we might have a problem there and the second problem will be the point of control but that's enough space from 30 to 280 so it's uh it's uh 20 points so it's less than 10%, but uh, uh, it's a pretty nice number. So be careful. I think that we will go lower because it's completely crazy. We move to the upside and I think we will try to test 50% retracement. And if you draw Fibonacci here, the point of control is near the 50% of, of uh, this move. So I think that we will try uh, to reach the point of control because it's the magnet for the market. We know that it's the fairest price in which business is being conducted. So it's the fairest price for the last three, two years. So we'll probably hit that price. And it's also closely connected with 50% Fibonacci. So I think that we will see that the market will go, go lower. Uh, but as I mentioned, be careful. Uh, the value area on a weekly chart, the first point of defense, maybe let me explain a little bit if you have the volume profile and you have uh, this is the low volume node guys okay this is the low volume node and you have a zone here okay there's the zone and if the market goes down this is the first point of defense and this is the last point of defense this point so in this case we have a first point of defense here and last point of defense we have here Last point, last point of defense is uh, the entry point of another value area. This is the value area, the major value area for the last uh, three years. So yes, I expect the market will go lower. Now we will check the, the other instruments. And I told you in intermarket analysis that uh, Russell is at the edge of uh, the value area here. And look what happened. Market tried to enter the area and collapsed. Nasdaq is really crazy. It created all-time high, so it was uh, it was, or we could expect that the market will go lower. And the last is Dow Jones, and I'm really happy that only Nasdaq went above this high because we saw that uh, market uh, has confidence, but only Nasdaq had the confidence to go higher. Here you can see that we have value area and what's really interesting look what the market stopped at the edge of the value area here so we have market stopped at the support resistance level here 
in uh, Russell 2. Nasdaq went through the all time high, and it's also very strong uh, support resistance level and collapsed. So we'll back to SPI and we'll see what happened here. There was not uh, in SPI some uh, volume value area or some swing high or swing low, but it doesn't matter. We had three uh, support resistance levels in other instruments in other indexes. So we could expect that the market will go down. So that's my analysis uh, and my thoughts about the SPI. I'm really happy, but let's say we have to see what will happen because uh, I think that it's really difficult to predict the future uh, only from the price action pattern during this difficult time. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, it's Friday. We have a weekend that's coming. So I hope it, it will be a great weekend and we will have a power for the next Monday. Thank you guys and enjoy your weekend. Bye.